Your home screen should only have things that you need the most through the day. Now I'll talk about a setup that I have and it works really well for me. But before I move on guys, I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers and it's not gonna happen without your support. So be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon and that should get me somewhere. Anyway, let's move on with the video now. So here's how I have it set up and I'll talk about how you can get this set up towards the end of the video, but it's important you understand why I have it set up like this. Now the apps I use the most are placed on the right because I use my phone in the right hand and it's in an area that's easy to reach using the thumb. Now I do a lot of my work either on WhatsApp or through phone calls which is why they are on the right. I also use Slack but mostly I respond to notifications so that's on the left and Instagram is just for break. But Instagram is something I use. If you use Facebook or YouTube Music or Spotify, feel free to drop them on your home screen instead of Instagram. Next, I have a couple of shortcuts here. Now these two launch the camera directly in either photo mode or in video mode. And that saves me a lot of time. I mean, otherwise I have to go all the way inside, look for camera, and then I have to slide th through the modes to get to video mode. It takes time and then by the time I lose the moment. And these two are actually very interesting too. These are navigation shortcuts to my work and to my home. So if I just click on it, it automatically takes my current location, my office location and tells me how long I'm going to take along with the directions. And same goes for home. So it's really easy and very, very cool. But again, these are shortcuts that work for me because I use them very often. They may or may not work for you. The best way is go to your app drawer and long press on the apps that you use and see what widgets or shortcuts are available and you can just drag them out onto the home screen and that should really cut down on a lot of effort that you have to put every day going to the app and performing a certain action. Now I'm somewhat of a productivity freak and I want to make sure that all tasks that I have are in one place. And no matter how small or big the task is or whether it's personal or for office or for my YouTube channel, I make sure that they get inside my Todoist task management app. Now there are a ton of task management apps and I've probably done a video on it. It's on the top right corner. Click that video and see if that helps you out. I use Todoist um, and it's really great. Using the Todoist widget, I can quickly add a task, assign a priority, allocate it to a project and add a reminder all in one shot. And I can very easily look at all the tasks that I have upcoming or the ones that I've left out with this widget in a list. And this widget from Todoist is just an example. Again, you know, it's useful for me because I like my tasks upfront so I can be productive. This whole setup actually is geared towards high productivity. But again, you know, go to the list of widgets that are available in your smartphone. Uh, it all depends on the kind of apps you have. But once you go through that list, you can long press on the widget and get it out on the home screen if you think that's more useful for you than, you know, a task management widget. Okay, now let's talk about how you can get this look. First of all, let me just create a new home screen. This wallpaper, you're gonna need this, so I'll leave a link in the description to download the wallpaper. Next, you need these apps and these shortcuts out. So, well, you can just go to your app drawer and you can quickly just pull these apps out first. And now that I have my apps outside, you're gonna need those shortcuts. Now, to get those shortcuts, all you have to do is, let's say, go into camera, and then just long press on it. You'll see these two widgets show up. Then all you have to do is long press on one of them and drag it outside. And again, same goes for video mode. Long press, look for video, and then long press and get it out. And then you have to follow the same process for maps. So look for maps and then long press on it. You should see two options, work and home. If you don't, it's probable that you've not defined within the application what the address for work and home should be. And once you see those widgets, just long press and get them out. And then you've got all the relevant shortcuts. And now what you need is that Todoist widget where all my tasks were organized. Long press on the home screen, go into widgets. And then I'm going to look for my Todoist widget. Now this is because I have Todoist. You may have another task organizer, so that may have a widget too. And you know, I can customize this, which is what I like. So I can use a preset style and I can set it to transparent dark. And once I do that, I can set the opacity to a lighter uh, opacity and then I just hit OK. And there you go. My widget is ready. All I have to do now is resize so I can see multiple tasks together. And all that's left now is the Google widget. So I already have it here. I'll just pull it out and I'll drop it over here. Now, to, the way to get this, I'm using Nova Launcher. So I just have to go into Nova Launcher settings, go into home screen 
and then search bar placement is a widget and then I go into search bar style and now I can choose what kind of Google search bar I want. I wanted this one, it looks clean, minimal and I can set a color. So I have it set to white, you can set it to another color depending on the kind of wallpaper you have. And that's pretty much it. And lastly, let's talk about the icon styling, which by the way is not too important because you've got your relevant apps and shortcuts outside, but you still may want things to look good. So I'm using Nova Launcher that allows me to apply icon packs, you know, but I can go into Nova settings, go into look and feel, then icon style. And then the ones I'm using right now is called Wicons, probably white plus icons. So I have Wicons set and that's what these icons are. Now these shortcuts, I've actually, if you see, I've individually changed how they look, which is very simple to do. Just long press on this. If you're using Nova Launcher, you'll get an option called edit. And then you can click on this icon right here. You'll see all these icon packs that I have installed and I can just go to, let's say this one, and I can click here and I can then search for, let's say camera. And there you go. And I can apply this. Bam, there you go. It's got photo, it's got a nice look to it. It's got that gradient feel. And I can do that for this one as well. All I have to do is again, click on edit, go into icon, choose the same icon pack. So, you know, all the shortcuts have a similar look and feel. And then I can look for video and, you know, maybe something that catches my eye, maybe this one. There you go. So, you know, it's very easy to customize them individually as well. And that's pretty much it. And that's it guys, I hope this was really helpful for you. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment them in the section below, I'll reach out. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. See you in the next one.